I'm speaking to you from Geneva in Switzerland, but I really would like to focus on food systems everywhere in the world. We're all talking about the transformation of food systems so that they are better for people and for the planet. And when we talk about the system, we're talking about the lots of different elements that come together to ensure not only that food reaches those who need it, but also that the people who produce food are able to get a decent standard of living and at the same time that what the food that is produced, that it's nutritious, healthy and good for the environment and for climate. Now, there's not one simple solution. Over the last two years, we've been bringing together people all over the world to talk about how to transform food systems and to have discussions and dialogues so that they can better understand each other's perspectives on what matters in a food system. And through dialogue, they're coming out with new kinds of plans of ways of working together. And that's what I want to challenge you to focus on today. Could you be spending the next few weeks imagining what you can do in the food systems that you are part of to make them more sustainable, more healthy, and also better for the people who are involved in them? Think about it from your point of view, but then teleport yourself so that you're thinking about it also from the point of view of the people who are producing food, who are often very poorly paid, or the people in the factories that are processing food, who also may be poorly paid and working under difficult circumstances, or the people who are transporting and selling the food, or different people consuming food, but perhaps with one-tenth or one-twentieth or one-fiftieth of the income you have. Think about food systems from different perspectives, particularly from the point of view of poorer and less well-advantaged people. And then imagine on top of that, that they're at risk of getting the COVID, the virus that's causing the current pandemic. And think about it all together so that you are seeing the system from multiple perspectives. That's what we encourage you to do in the food systems dialogues. And these dialogues are going to be building up over the coming weeks and months. And I'd like you between now and September to spend your time looking at food systems from lots of different perspectives. Role play it with your friends and colleagues if you want. Go and talk to people you don't normally talk to to get their perspective. But most importantly, start thinking about the transformation of food systems from very different points of view, and particularly from the point of view of those who are poorest, those who suffer the greatest injustice, those who are in facing inequity, and those who are exposed to this new virus. Because then I believe we will get a much more holistic and fair and just approach to food system transformation. Thank you very much. David, thank you so much for sharing your fantastic perspectives, for helping us to challenge our own perceptions or preconceived notions, for helping us to expand our views, expand our perceptions, expand out of our own comfort zone. So thank you so much for your input. And that is a challenge to all of us watching today.